The DJI Avata has opened up the world of FPV to a wider audience of generally camera drone pilots taking their first steps into FPV. It is an amazing drone to capture cinematic sweeping shots outside and it's pretty useful indoors as well. But many flyers have been reporting a problem with, wait for it, exploding props. Hey everyone, welcome to Geeks of Honor. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a problem which has been impacting quite a few flyers of the DJI Avata FPV drone. That is something which sounds, as per the title and the thumbnail of this video, actually sounds quite dramatic, where the props are actually being destroyed, where they are effectively exploding, where we're actually seeing the props coming apart during flight and therefore, of course, the Avata itself crashing down to the ground. Now, this has been something which we're seeing a lot on forums. We're also seeing other fellow creators talking about it. More on that in just a couple of minutes. But yes, this is an issue. And today, we're going to be talking about how you can avoid this whilst flying your drone, as well as a bit of insight, my own insight into actually how that's happening. We're going to be sharing a story in a moment of someone whose props did explode. And it will be someone, um, a large creator that, that most of you will, will already know as well as getting some tips from one of the top fpv creators online right now so i'm really excited about this video to be able to add some real value and give you some some really fantastic information just before we get into the main video could my regulars please do the usual thing of hitting that like button nice and early it really does help this video but also helps the channel generally whenever we get videos with high like ratios i'd really appreciate it and if you are new here and you want to see this type of uh, content in the future so drone content related to things like regulations and how-to videos and help videos like this as well as the latest news then hit the subscribe button and remember to turn the notifications bell on all right that's the youtuber part out of the way that's the last time i promise in this video at least one person who's experienced this problem is sean over at air photography who runs a fantastic channel with tons of reviews leak videos all sorts of things across tech now, he's also going through a bit of a transition at the moment in terms of the type of content that he's producing, which is a change in his own circumstances. He's going off traveling for a few months. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what type of content he might produce. So if you don't already know, and I think he's got something like 300,000 subscribers. So if you don't already know about Sean at Air Photography, it's someone that I highly recommend you go over and hit the subscribe button on. Sean was flying his DJI Avata out over a lake and he actually managed to capture some pretty astonishing footage showing the props actually exploding and then coming across in front of the camera. Here's a clip from his video which explains all about his experience. I put my Avada up and literally it was in the air for about 30 seconds. I get it up, I switch it into sport mode and then I head out over the water and like I said, about 30 seconds in, I hear a pop. And uh, then it just, in my goggles, everything was just spiraling. And of course, it fell into the water. Of course, it's devastating when something like that happens. But uh, later that day, I went home and I reviewed the footage to try and see what happened. And at first, I thought it was a bird strike. Just because when I took a quick look at the footage, you could see these two dark things appear on the screen just before it started spiraling. When we took a closer look at the footage, and really slowed it down. You can actually see that it's two halves of one of the props. On top of that, I also got a message in the goggles saying to check my propellers to see if they were working. Now, I know if some of you are gonna say it could be due to over tightening of the props, and I am aware that is an issue, but I am very careful of that. I've been flying drones for a long time, so I am very careful of that. And this particular Avada has still had the factory props on it. I've done about 50 flights on this particular Avada, and uh, so the tightness of the props came right from the factory. I hadn't touched them. So it's very odd that they would just shatter like that for no reason. Now I have contacted DJI and submitted a flyaway report because I do have refresh on it. I am hoping they'll say it's mechanical error, uh, not user error. So maybe they won't charge me the fee, but you know, if I have to pay it, I guess I have to pay it. Uh, but we'll see what they say. I did uh, submit my logs to them 
and uh, the video footage that I had from the goggles. So we'll see what they say. As a side note, it's worth informing you that Sean has told me that DJI have actually provided him a new Avata via their Care Refresh program through the flyaway side of things. Now, it's interesting because, of course, there was, there was some talk as to whether or not it would be seen as a fault or anything else like that, but he has been able to make a successful claim by his DJI Care Refresh as a flyaway. So that's a good little update on Sean's uh, particular situation. Now, Sean is an experienced creator and drone pilot, and I don't think he's doing anything particularly wrong. And it does suggest to me that there seems to be some kind of wider problem. And for that, I suppose only time will tell. But I think one of the main issues here is that actually a lot of people who are flying this drone at the moment are new to FPV. So therefore the experience, the entire, really the, the entire sort of format, the entire experience of flying the drone is very, very different. So actually camera drone pilots now coming across to FPV for the first time, they're not used to the, the wear and tear, the, the rough and tumble, that even actually landing a, an FPV drone in a normal way, it sort of comes down much a much harder bump on the ground. How that can actually impact things. So you, with things like, you know, FPV maintenance and that type of thing, you find that in particular, the props are something which you have to pay a lot more attention to than we do with our GPS camera drones, you know, with the Mavic 3, etc., cetera, or the, or, the, or the Mini 3, the DJI's, Otels, et cetera, the camera drones. We only really ever look at the props to make sure they're not damaged. And there's, there's only a few issues that can really happen with that. So just for you, this is a very special exclusive for our awesome Geeks Varna viewers. We reached out to uh, Ian at, over at Mads Tech, who is one of the premier, one of the leading FPV creators who are online at the moment, uh, for his advice and tips on actually how to look after your props and how to spot the damage. Pay particular attention to what he talks about regarding over tightening and also gluing your props and that type of things. It's really interesting. Let's roll the clip. Now, with regards to props on the Avata, there really isn't anything particularly special about them compared to any others on the market other than the price that DJI like to charge for them. There are third-party manufacturers that do also make props for the DJI Avata as well as many of their other drones. However, personally, I always tend to stick with DJI's own genuine ones because I'll be honest, it's very rare that I've had any issues with them. Now, before you fly, you should give your props a once over to make sure that there is no damage and there's nothing that's going to cause a problem in flight. These props are very, very durable and you will see that you can actually push them around quite a bit, but the wrong kind of damage will result in a blade letting go or even the prop splitting in half. These are fairly well used props and in fact, there is some damage on these in the corners here. This is a very common duct to have damage because this is the duct with the SD card in and it's very easy to get that caught up if you forget to close it before taking off. So that is something you wanna be careful of. Overall, what you're looking for on these is that there's no cracks, especially around the areas there. My advice would be just to give all of the props a bit of a push down before taking off. If you've got one that has a split around the hub area, you'll feel that the blade will push down a lot more than it would compared to the others. It's also worth regularly checking the tightness of your props. They do come with some Loctite on the screws as standard, but it is worth just nipping them up every now and again. You don't want to over tighten these. You don't want to do it too much. It should literally just be a slight turn past the restriction. That way you'll know that they're all buttoned up nicely. Now, as I've shown, all of my props have a little bit of damage, and as a result of that, they all now need to be changed. It is not worth risking even continuing to fly with a prop, even if it's a little bit of damage at the tip. Swap them out, put some nice new ones on. That way, you're not going to have any problems in the future. Replacing the props on the Avata is very straightforward. You simply take your driver and undo the two screws. Once they're loose, you can simply give it a little bit of a tug, and your prop will withdraw from the motor. When it comes to replacing your props, you do also need to take care as well. The original screws are important to use because they are not threaded all the way down. You'll notice that they're threaded right at the very end and then the rest of the shaft is clear and that then is what sits into the hub of the prop itself. It's also very important when changing these props that you do not add any Loctite to these screws. Whilst the original ones will come with some Loctite on board, you should not need to add any more. And in fact, you need to be very careful 
careful with Loctite because it will actually melt plastic and it's quite common that if people put too much on the shaft or on this area and it gets onto the plastic of the prop, it will actually melt it over time and cause the prop to split in half. Refitting is nice and simple. You'll notice that there are two screw holes on the motor and two little location lug holes and you have the same layout on the bottom of the prop. You simply place it over the top, rotate it until it locks in place, put your screws into the holes and then carefully tighten down. You do not need to over tighten these. They simply just need to be hand tight, carefully just nipping them up that way you're not going to risk doing any damage to the props themselves or any potential of splitting the hub. Now one last check I always recommend you do with your drones is the motors. The Avata is an FPV drone and as such it's going to get crashed, it might get dirt in the motors or even you could end up damaging one. A nice easy check you can do is just flick the motors one at a time with your finger and make sure that they all perform pretty much the same. Do they all have the same amount of restriction when you rotate and is one any more stiffer than the other? Is one largely stiffer? Is it making some noises? Is there anything that feels out of place? If when you turn it you get like a clicking sound or something feels like it's notching the chances are there might be some dirt in it but if one motor feels very tight compared to the others the chances are it's probably damaged and it needs to be replaced now personally i don't believe that there's any particular issues with the dji props i've beaten mine up quite a bit and i've had no problems either what i would say though is everything comes down to maintenance making sure that there's no splits or cracks or anything that's going to cause the prop blade to come off or split down by the hub if you're replacing them don't over tighten the screws and again make sure that you don't use loctite so thank you ian from mads tech for that fantastic advice there and guidance he really did give us a deep dive into how to look after the props here in terms of the fpv uh, dji avata fpv drone and certainly there's a few there's a few tips in there that i picked up that i'll be adding to my maintenance schedule as well but certainly this is a very different type of drone to what we're used to flying as camera drone operators i'm mainly a camera drone guy i do have the dji fpv drone as well so that makes me a real fpv pilot doesn't it no no i know, I know it doesn't but actually this is something which we all need to really keep in mind it's a really really important side of things that this drone goes through a lot more with the bashes and bangs the hard landings the bits and bolts which are flying up into it they it's, it's a very very powerful full um, uh, system in terms of the amount of air that this is pushing down uh, so therefore you also get a situation being pusher props as well where any kind of bits of crap that are flying in the air any bits and pieces will be coming down through these props as well and of course they're ducted so they're going to be hitting those props at a, at a fairly hefty speed so therefore you're going to pick up more damage on these props than you would on camera drone props in my opinion so perhaps we're seeing more issues more failures because we have that sort of transition across from camera drone pilot to fpv with this particular amazing drone which has proved to be so so popular for very good reasons i absolutely love the thing and fly it almost every single day so if you have any questions any comments on this do let me know in the comments below and i will try to answer them either down there or post a further follow-up video if that's needed sean out